Welcome to this lecture and here we will solve the fourth and last problem based on economic factors. In this problem, the annual load duration curve of a certain power station can be considered as a straight line from 20 megawatt to 4 megawatt and to meet this load, three turbine generator units out of which two are rated at 10 megawatt and one rated at 5 megawatt are installed and we need to calculate the installed capacity, the plant capacity factor, units generated per annum, load factor and utilization factor. So let's start the solution of this problem and we will begin with plotting the load duration curve. We already know what is the difference between load curve and load duration curve. I will quickly plot the annual load duration curve. We have already seen how to plot the monthly load duration curve but in this problem we will plot the annual load duration curve. The process will remain the same. The x-axis represents the time in hour and the y-axis represents the power demand in kilowatt or megawatt. In this particular problem we are having megawatt as the unit so we will take megawatt you can also take kilowatt, you can simply convert 20 megawatt to kilowatt, it will be 20,000 kilowatt. In this way you can also take unit as kilowatt. This is the origin, when T is equal to 0 hour, the power demand should be maximum. And the maximum demand is 20 megawatt, so when T is equal to 0, we will have 20 megawatt. And on increasing the time from 0, to 8760 the power demand will decrease and when t is equal to 8760 hour the power demand is minimum which is 4 megawatt let's say this is 4 megawatt so to plot the straight line we now have two points this one and this one and when you join these two points like this you will have the load duration curve. In the problem it is given that there are three turbine generator units. I will represent the turbine generator unit like this and we are having three turbine generator units out of which two are rated at 10 megawatt. Let's say generator G1 and generator G2 are rated at 10 megawatt and the last generator, generator G3 is rated at 5 megawatt 5 megawatt and they are feeding they are feeding the source so this is what given in the problem and in the first part we need to calculate the installed capacity the installed capacity PC is equal to 25 megawatt PC is the total installed capacity and the total installed capacity of the three generators is 10 plus 10 plus 5 which is equal to 25 megawatt. So this is the answer of the first part. In the second part we need to calculate the plant capacity factor PCF and it is equal to average power average power over the installed capacity. We will calculate the average power using the load duration curve. The average power the average power is equal to total area upon total time to calculate the total area i will divide i will divide the total area into two separate areas the first one is the area of this triangle and the second one is area of this rectangle the area of this triangle is let's say a1 and the area of this rectangle is let's say area A2. Area A1 is equal to half base into altitude. Base is equal to 8760. 8760 and the altitude is equal to 20 minus 4 which is 16. Area A2 is simply equal to 8760 multiplied with 4. I will add A1 and A2 to get the total area. So P average is equal to half 8760 multiplied with 16 plus 8760 multiplied with 4 and the total time is 8760 8760 if you take 8760 common in the numerator 
it will be cancelled out with the denominator so we are left with half into 16 plus 4 which is equal to 12 megawatt so the average power is equal to 12 megawatt and now we can easily calculate the plant capacity factor the plant capacity factor is equal to 12 megawatt over 25 megawatt and when you solve it you will get 0.48 so percentage PCF is equal to 48 percent this is the answer of the second part now we will solve the third part of the problem in which we need to calculate the units generated per annum the units generated per annum is simply the area under this curve and to calculate the area under the curve we can solve the numerator in the p average expression this is the total energy produced in one year and when you solve it you will get 105.12 into 10 raised to power 3 the unit will be megawatt hour so the unit of energy is megawatt hour and this is the answer of the third part this is the answer of the third part units generated per annum but this answer is not correct this is incorrect answer because in the question we have to calculate the units generated not the energy if they ask you to calculate the energy then this answer is correct but when I, when they are asking you to calculate the units generated this answer is not correct to understand this why it is not correct let us first talk about unit the unit is simply one kilowatt hour for example you are having a bucket full of water this is the bucket full of water and uh, you want to heat this water and for that you are using electric heater like this and the rating of this electric heater is 1000 watt and let's say you are using this electric heater for one hour for one hour so how many units you have consumed one unit is equal to one kilowatt hour the rating is thousand watt or we can say one kilowatt so you are using one kilowatt in one hour this means you used one unit of electricity and if one unit of electricity if one unit of electricity is let's say six rupees then you used six rupees to heat your bucket full of water so the unit is simply one kilowatt hour not megawatt hour so you need to convert this megawatt hour to kilowatt hour kilowatt hour and in that scenario it will be 105.12 into 10 raised to power 6 so this is the correct answer i hope you now understand what do we mean by unit and how you are charged based on your consumption in this particular case we are having this much of unit and if one unit is equal to six rupees then this much of unit will cost you nearly 63 crore rupees or 6300 million rupees so 6300 million rupees unit is produced by this power station so we are done with the first part second part and the third part of the problem fourth and fifth parts are the homework for you calculation of load factor and utilization factor is homework for you once you have your answer post it in comment section and now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one